Hi students, this is seventh class topic, acids and bases, which is a very important topic in chemistry. In fact, it comes under the very important basics of chemistry. And here we have two substances, and along with this, one more substance is there, which is called as neutral. By the word itself, you can understand neutral means they are neither acids nor bases. Neutral substances, bases, acids. Now. In lower classes, you all learned the physical nature of matter is classified into three types: solids, liquids, and gases. Similarly, when it comes to the chemical nature of the substances, they are also classified into three types: acids, bases, and neither acids nor bases. And out of these three, this one is very familiar to you: the salt that you use in your food. That is what is a neutral substance. That is neither acid nor base. And uh, one more familiar example is water that you drink or that you use in your daily life. The water is neither acid nor a base. And anyway, I'll tell you clearly what these. Uh, first, we'll know the examples that we see in daily life. Then we'll try to know what actually these are. So these are salt, water, and bases. Glass cleaner. So basically, many cleaning substances. There are uh, soaps or the ones that you use to clean the sur surfaces or glass. These are the familiar examples of bases. And also, you use uh, baking soda to make some breakfast or some special items when you are cooking. Baking soda, cooking soda. That is also a base. And also washing soda, that is your surf powder. This is also a base. And acids, also you have many examples. Uh, that is a lemon. And uh, from all different, not only lemon, you will see acid in many, many different kinds of fruits. And acid is also used in some. Cleaner. Now, but there is a difference here. Yeah. These are mild cleaners, just to remove the dirt and grease. And if the stains are very, very strong, that is, suppose your sewage is blocked, and then you pour a strong liquid, such kind of uh, strong cleaners, those are made of acids. And these are the natural acids which are required by our human body. And whatever food we eat that is digested in the stomach. Due to the presence of a strong acid, that is what we call as digestive acid. And one more example of base is a toothpaste. As I said, all low power cleaning materials are made of bases, and the strong ones that clean the sewage and drainage also serve things that is acid. And to digest the food that we eat, so we eat soft kind of food, hard food. To digest that, the stomach requires a lot of chemical power, and that chemical power is by the acid present in our stomach, which we call as digestive acid. And so we have a very strong acid in our stomach. Now, so these are the examples to identify acids, bases, and even the tea, coffee. Those are also. Now among the ones that I have written here, these are very strong acids. The strong acid in the sense uh, they can even cause the burns on the skin. A strong acid or a strong base, if it is kept uh, in few drops on your hand, your hand will feel a lot of pain. And these are the mild acids, they even put it in your mouth, we eat it, we drink it. These are the mild acids. Mild means weak. Now, strong acids or strong bases, let us say this one, yeah. A few of these can skin cause some skin irritation. Your skin will be damaged in a little bit. This. So, the strong ones. Weak ones are present in all of this. There are strong acids, weak acids. There are strong bases, weak bases. 
and there are neutral substances which are neither acids nor bases. Now, I told water as a perfect example of neutral substance. I will tell you now the difference between these. We have seen only the examples but not the meanings of what they are actually. Now, before going into that, first example, let us examine what is the water here. Now, water is written as H2O. That means water is made up of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. They are bonded like this. One oxygen atom is attached to two hydrogen atoms. Now, what happens is when you try to break the water molecule, even this is not, we are not breaking it. In some chemical processes, what happens is the water molecule can break into two parts. Then it will break like this. It is H and OH. We will write plus and minus here. Why we are writing this plus and minus? We will see in the further coming classes. Okay? Just remember that the water molecule can break into two parts H plus and OH minus. Now, suppose if I have 10 molecules of water, that means I have 10 number of H2O. If I break these, now what will happen? I will get 10 H plus and 10 OH minus. So 10 water molecules are broken, we are getting two parts 10 H plus and 10 OH minus. Now observe that the number of H plus is equal to number of OH minus. Don't bother thinking about water flows. Just like I said, remember A molecule can be broken here into two parts that is H plus and OH minus. Now, in the, if the water is broken now, the number of H plus is same as number of OH minus. 10 H plus are there, 10 OH minus are there. Now, suppose if I have a special liquid in which I have this OH minus only two of them and H plus I have 10 of them. Now that means I am making this unequal. Here number of OH minus is less, number of H plus is more. Now such substance is called acid. And now what is this substance? This substance is water. It has same number of H plus and same number of OH minus. So since these two properties are similar, we call it as neutral. If H number of H plus are more, then we say that substance is acid. That means you can guess immediately what the base is now. If number of OH minus is more and H plus is less, let's say for example, this I have 8 and suppose this I have only 3. Now, I am comparing these 3 types of liquids now. In one type of liquid, the number of H plus is same as number of OH minus and water is the best example of such type of liquids and the second type of liquid what I am saying is number of H plus is more than OH minus such substances are called acids and third type of liquid number of OH minus particles are more than number of H plus particles such substances are called bases so in chemistry the liquids particularly are classified into three types acids, bases and neutral substances. In neutral substances, most familiar examples are salt and water.